she normally like does funny actions or she um, makes funny sounds that I can understand. It can communicate um, a, f a few things um, like he does that, he does that if you don't want any more. We just say like, do you want to go in the pool? And when she goes like, e we know it's a yes, so we take her in the pool. The majority of individuals with Angelman syndrome um, will not develop enough verbal speech to be able to use that for all their communication needs. And so it's really important that we concentrate on other methods of communication. They use body language, they use some gestures, perhaps signing. Her best communication is facial expressions. He's so desperate to communicate that he's going to use anything that he can find, you know, to, um, to reach you. He doesn't actually use any uh, formal uh, communication, but he communicates in his own way extremely well. I think Hannah understands a lot of what we say. Often you don't know if he's being naughty, just for fun's sake or if he's trying to actually communicate some things. If he's unwell or he needs to get a message across, he will take my hand and put it on the part of his body that hurts. He'll bring something to you, like the iPad or the car key or his swimming trunks and that sort of implies that that's what he would like to do. Jack has his own signs, people close to him understand and what he's talking about, but it does make him difficult to get understood by others. So we have more recently been introducing an iPad talker and this last year he's been wearing it on a harness going into school. Meal times we have pictures for her to pick out which one she wants and things like that. She'll say Hannah, we get daddy a lot. And she says mama as well. She knows what she wants and she knows how to get it, she knows how to ask for things. That's what matters the most to all of us as parents and siblings probably, it's to give them means to communicate because it's his first right as a person, as a human being. I think you have to presume that they can communicate using the given tools, for example pod, rather than presume that they can't. Because we feel at the moment we have just one little window and there's so much more that he has to say. I think there's a lot more going on behind those eyes and that smile than, than we give him credit for. If anybody tells a tale of misfortune, hardship, pain, he starts laughing his head off. He likes nothing better than other people suffering. She can even tell jokes now and tell little stories and she can tell tales and people were using her book. We were waiting for uh, Dad to come back from work one day um, and he does surprise you sometimes because suddenly on the iPad he's got Daddy working, waiting. The most motivation of hearing that iPad talk back to him spurs him on. It's suddenly given him a voice and so that for us we just hope we'll move on and on and on. Any language that you're learning is a process and it's a lifelong process. It's not going to happen within three months, five months, you know, a year. It's something that takes a long time to develop. I think she's a very good communicator. It's us who as people around her aren't such good communicators back to her.